Sirius, Redditors from Lebanon or Beirut, how are you after the horrific explosion in the city? Devastated, I'm thinking that life was paradise before that explosion and trust me, life was fucking shit even before the disaster. Edit, it has been confirmed that my teacher at university lost his life in the incident. I'm Lebanese and I'm stuck abroad because of COVID. I was on the phone with my grandmother when it happened. You do not want to hear your grandmother yelling like, she is about to die. Everyone I know and I spent hours making phone calls, texting people are you alive? Worrying when the other person took more than a split second to answer. We had ceiling to floor windows in my house, they're completely destroyed. Mom had to stay home alone all night and we were worried someone would try to break in because we live on the second floor. We were also worried about the fumes. This is something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. My grandmom sadly passed away, while my brother came out safely with a few burns. My brother felt the shockwave 12 to 14 miles east a lot later than I did, I was about 2 miles south, but I managed to reach home without major injuries. I wasn't scared from a, trembling building and shattered windows not cause him so great but I didn't process what happened saw the mushroom cloud and genuinely thought we got nuked. I didn't understand the blast and what I went through before I saw all the videos online I got extremely lucky. Edit. Thanks everyone for the support and fun and managed to sleep a bit, prayers go out to all affected more than me. I live just 2 miles away from where the explosion occurred. We live on the 10th floor of a high rise building. My siblings and I were sitting on the balcony before the impact. I, remember clearly feeling the earth shake and us calling out that there was an earthquake. We rushed into our living room only to hear the loudest bang I've ever experienced. My mother, who had seen the entire thing happen from the kitchen window, was hysterical. The moments after the deafening bang were followed by a gust of wind that shook all our windows, slammed all our doors, and shattered our neighboring building's windows. My family was freaking out and unsure of what had just happened. The idea that this was the first act of war was on everyone's minds. My younger sibling experienced a panic attack and my mother was inconsolable. I clearly remember feeling nothing, my emotions were empty, but I felt my knees shaking. I was so focused on making sure my family was okay that I didn't give myself time to process. It wasn't until after I had gone to bed till I realized how bad it was for me too. I had a nightmare about it that woke me up at 4am and any creak or thump in the night had me flinching. My family and I are physically safe, which is why we're making a trip to donate blood for those who weren't so lucky. I wanted to end with a picture I took a few minutes after and also link the Red Cross for anyone able to donate. Lebanese but living in Australia. Andy and uncle are in hospital with some injuries but are okay. My dad's Andy however is missing and she lived nearby in a building on one of the top floors. We are fearing the worst. Edit. Great news guys. I am just at my dad's house and he has told me that his auntie's daughter found her unconscious in her room. She is making a recovery in hospital. Her property has been destroyed. There is a bit of relief at home but we are still concerned for my uncle and auntie. Dad's sister and brother-in-law. My auntie's shoulder is broken and I am not fully aware of my uncle's injuries just yet. Dad is saying he is in pretty bad shape and requires surgery. My cousins in the villages are heading towards Beirut to visit them. I'll update this post when I find out more. Thank you all for the kind words. Please keep the people of Lebanon in your thoughts and prayers. They have been doing it tough for a while and this just doesn't make anything any easier. Lived a kilometer away from the explosion. I left Lebanon two weeks ago to visit family. My house is completely destroyed and unliving. My two closest friends were my roommates. One was in the bathroom when it happened, the other was outside walking back from work. They were sending me voice notes of what was going on while it happened. These two men are the strongest people I know and getting messages from both of telling me to tell their families they love them in case anything happens shakes you. If they were in their rooms I can't begin to imagine what would have happened to them. They're both safe now in the mountains. Thankfully no one I know is dead just lots of injuries. Edit. Guys please if you can donate to our Lebanese Red Cross they'll need the help they can get. I got an award but your funds are better used for the volunteers that commit their life for our health and safety. Well in my case I'm fine. I took all the earthquake procedures my family practices once a month in case of an earthquake then left the building as soon as the shaking stopped. Then came the horrifying part the smoke and then boom the shockwave. I was deafened for about 30 seconds and got a few minor scratches on my arm but other than that I'm fine, can't speak for at least 4.5k others though sadly, slash. Shocked, heartbroken, and hopeless. Ears still ringing from the blast. Friends and family injured. 
I don't know how Lebanon is going to cope with this drama and move on. The whole explosion was like an out-of-body experience that keeps playing over and over in my head. Everything is absolutely destroyed. Our apartment is right in front of the port and luckily my parents and sister had left literally 5 minutes before so they are okay. They were in the car and it apparently flew a few meters. I just saw pictures of the apartment and it's terrifying. A lot of injuries but worse still a lot of people missing. We've been looking for our best friend for more than 12 hours now and still can't find him. Edit. He has been found but did not make it frown. I have a lot of family in Lebanon. Since it's during the work week they were all in Beirut. A number of my family members have been injured. Some minor and others a little worse but from what for been told nothing too serious. My cousin narrowly escaped serious injury when the shock wave hit him and a large sign came crashing down feet away from him. He got covered in glass but nothing too serious. A lot of my family members also have had a lot of damage to their homes as well. My closest cousin used to work at the port years ago and said the deaths would have been much worse had the explosion happened just two hours earlier when the port would have been busier. My family is understandably shaken up and couldn't even describe how they felt when happened and said it doesn't come close to anything they've ever experienced. I pray for everyone in Lebanon. With everything going on over the past year this is absolutely the last thing they need. I'm still trying to find ways to support my family from home. I'm an expat here, living nearby it, a bit shook up. I thought my partner and I were going to die, we hid under the bed. I thought it was the predicted once in a century 8.0 earthquake. Then I thought terrorists or Israeli strike as we fled into the street to open ground. I am extremely glad it was not those things. Those things would be worse. God damn I was happy to get drunk last night. Friend of mine got out of his car in Marmkale in time before it was crushed by a falling building. Thank God he's okay. Others around him were not so lucky though. He saw many in their last moments praying knowing they weren't gonna make it. I personally moved from Lebanon two years ago. I was woken up by screams of my father crying over our city when he got the news. RIP to the martyrs, it kills me I'm not with my people and family in such a terrible time. Pray for Beirut, pray for Lebanon, 